Only three boats in Heat 1B, which means the worst any boat can do if they finish is 225 points, which would be third place. And that's got to help as far as the national point standings. Andy? It's a good chance for you to pick up some points in this heat. Yeah, we need them. Uh, after the problems we had a little bit in Detroit, after uh, Madison last weekend, uh, it looks good. We got a good draw. We got a good player, we'll be there. This is Todd Yarling, driver of the U-22. That is the Risley's Express, camp based out of Madison, Indiana. This is the National Point leader, Scott Pierce of Executone Telephones. As we look at the rundown, you can see the top qualifier for this heat, the Miss Executone Telephones and Scott Pierce. 28-year-old Todd Yarling of Risley's Express. They've had some engine problems in the past, but they've got them just about ironed out now. Andy Coker, 37 years old, out of West Palm Beach, Florida, become a very popular driver in his first year with the Unlimiteds. And Scott Pierce, number one in points right now, would love to hold on to that and pick up a bundle right here in this three-boat race. And again, keep in mind, they cannot cross the starting line before the clock expires. Six seconds, down to five seconds, four seconds. American Speedy Printing is in the foreground. We know for sure that American Speedy Printing jumped the gun. We are not sure about Executone Telephones. Physically, Executone Telephones with Scott Pierce is in first place. The first to get to the turn. You see someone of that dog leg down the main straightaway as Executone comes into the turn first. The national point leader now coming into this race in Evansville, Indiana, Executone Telephones and 30-year-old Scott Pierce. In second place, American Speedy Printing, but we do not know whether or not the first two boats happen to jump the gun. These are the two here, Andy Coker on the outside, Scott Pierce on the inside, Todd Yarling in third place, but is he in first place? We'll have to wait and see. Pierce coming around the second turn now as they'll come down the main straightaway in front of better than 75,000 people here in Evansville watching the race in 1985. Executone Telephone. All right, the tower on the sign has now indicated that at least one boat has jumped the gun. Executone and Madison jumped the gun in first position. Now, this is Kenny Washington's crew for Todd Yarling, the boat in third place, Risley's Express. He has just told Todd that he is in first place and that both boats in front of him have jumped the gun. There might be your leader, the U-22, the Risley's Express with Todd Yarling. Wouldn't that be something? 400 points here with only seven boats in the field, but assure him of a shot in the final heat. We don't know for sure yet, but it appears that the U-22 is in first place. Physically right now, Scott Pierce thinks he is in first place. It was very, very close at the start as to whether or not he was across the starting line too early or not. Quite clear that Andy Coker, this man, was across the starting line too soon. But in the meantime, the Executone Telephone physically in first place. This is American Speedy Printing, affectionately known as the Miss Madison, and Todd Yarling in the U-22 in the Risley's Express. See if we can hear something down in the pits, maybe find out what's going on. Jimbo, right now, there's some confusion as to who jumped what position you think you're in. Right now, we're in second. Miss Madison jumped a gun. That's what we can find out from the officials down here. And you know, we've been having so much trouble this year, we just want to hold it together now. We'll we have to wait. second coming up. Okay, Jimbo, we'll have to wait for official word, Don. All right, that's Jim Saddam, owner of the Risley's Express, the U-22. He knows he is at least in second place, which would give him 300 points. There's the Risley's Express right there with Todd Garling out of Madison, Indiana. Scott Pierce, now if he is indeed penalized an extra lap for jumping the gun, he will have to run six laps along with Andy Coker in the American Speedy Printing, Miss Madison. Here's the Executone crew. They're waiting to find out if they're in second place or in first place. They don't know yet. Back to Todd Yarlick. Just keep the engine running, baby. You're going to get at least 300 points. And that will certainly get him into the final. Executone Telephones looking at probably a sixth lap. We just don't know yet. We'll have to find out. American Speedy Printing with 37-year-old Andy Coker, his first year. He has done many flying starts in the limited level, the five-liter boats. So it's not like he's not used to a flying start going against the clock for a starting line. And Scotty Pierce has certainly experienced that. He's in his fifth year of unlimited hydroplane racing. So 
now they are giving the green flag here on the fifth lap. So Executone Telephone is technically in second place. The crew for Risley's Express, they can't believe it. They're in first place, and they picked up 100 points here in Heat 1B. That is your winner there of 1B, Risley's Express and Todd Yarling. Well, Don, we've just had official word. Both the Executone Telephone and the American Speedy Miss Madison did jump. You were in the second, my man. You're first. Oh, man, it's been a long time since last year. It's great. Why is your wife crying? <laughs> oh, yeah, I just don't know. Oh. They, they work so hard to get how they talk. <laughs> Don, back over to you. All right, so the numbers look like this. Risley's Express with 400 points. Executone Telephone, 300. And American Speedy printing with Andy Coker, third place. Back down to Jim Hendrick in the pits. Well, Don, let's find out about this winner. Uh, when did you know you had the lead? Uh... Uh, right at the start, uh, we've got radios in our in my helmet. Uh, about a minute, I think, before the the gun went off, my look down, my clock was stopped, and my crew chief counted me through it. Well, that's good. <laughs> Listen, actually, when you come in a situation like that, you do not put out all together because you know you got it made unless you left. Yeah, that's it. I just uh, had to make sure everything's playing good. I wanted to keep enough speed up so uh, everything would work good and to keep an eye on the rest of them. Thank you, Todd. Okay, Don, that's the story from here. Jim, this is Scott Pierce and Bill Worcester, owner of the Executone Telephone, headed up to talk to the referee about the whole situation. Another look at the start. Watch the starting line and the clock. Clearly a second remaining, and both boats are across the starting line. Pierce and Worcester have made their way up to the official tower looking at a replay of the start with the URC officials. I think Pierce's point is, had he known for sure he jumped the gun, he possibly could have lapped Todd Yarling, maybe trying to get a victory anyway, even though he won an additional lap. But that's the situation right now. They both jump the gun. Yarling gets the victory. The Kristen Eagles entertaining the 75,000 fans here in Evansville. And we have the top four qualifiers coming up in Heat 2A. And everybody's having fun on this Sunday. 